Good afternoon, students. The revision work of Calci because the first revision test will be of Calci. So there are two chapters of Calci. So we will uh, discuss the chapter two of uh, your Calci. So in this chapter, there are uh, some discussion about the chart, how you can insert the chart, different types of charts. Okay, and uh, now. I'm going to I'm going to revise that. Okay, students. Uh, charts is a pictorial representation of data. Okay, so uh, it is very difficult to make analysis uh, with the help of figures. Okay, on the, uh, when we read the figures, it is very difficult for us to take decisions. For uh, taking the decision, the if we represent the data in the figures or in the shape of an image that is more uh, readable and you can take the analysis you can take the decision so suppose here i am taking one uh, here row number and here is a row number one two three here is a marks of Students. So these are the marks of students. Okay. So in case you want to insert chart, click on any cell, and there is one button, chart button in standard toolbar. So one option is you will have to click on chart option, chart button available in standard toolbar. Second one is insert, and then here is chart. Next, so if I, uh, you, you can use any method with us. So I click on insert, click on chart. So chart will be automatically inserted, but it will show some uh, steps here. So these steps are here. First step is you will have to select the chart type. So chart type here, column, bar, pie, area, line, and then there is this subcategories. Okay, select that. Then is range by default. Uh, the Calci will select the range automatically you can change it next is data series here i have two data series row number and mark then at the end you can fill the title of your chart it is suppose it is result pt3 and subtitle if you want to give it is class Ninth day in x axis, two numbers are there, and in a y axis, marks of the students. Then, here, legend whether to place the legend in right hand side, or left hand side, or top or bottom. Then, click on finish. Button. So, here is my chart. Here is rule number is also, marks is also uh, here rule number is also displayed. So what we can do is we at the time of selection don't select here marks a uh, rule number. So I'm again doing this select only marks then chart and then click on finish button. So here is chart. Rule number one marks is 89. Here, uh, 
Rule number two marks is fifty-seven. Rule number three marks is forty-five. Now here is different controls, a different component of chart. So I am going to discuss here different components of chart. The different component of charts are number one. Here is chart. Area in which your chart is placed. Then there is chart title. The main heading of the your chart. Then x axis. This is also known as category axis. Y axis. This is also known as value axis. Then axis title, like uh, marks, roll number, axis titles. Then plot area. In this, the data series are placed. Okay. Then data series, the actual data bars that uh, display the data is called data series. Then legend, so it is show the uh, it is an index. Then there is data label. If any number is display above the any bar is called data label. Then grid lines, whether are horizontals or and vertical lines, these are called grid lines. So these are your chart. Components. So these are uh, maybe in exams there name any four component of charts, name any eight component of charts. So you will write down the names of these component of charts. Next is uh, there are different types of charts. Here, here is your column chart. Okay. तो आपने चार्ट को अगर आपने सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू चेंज दिस चार्ट आई सिलेक्ट दिस चार्ट एंड क्लिक ऑन फॉर्मेट हेयर इज चार्ट हेयर इज अ चार्ट टाइम ओके तो हेयर इज कॉलम चार्ट इन दिस ऑल दी डेटा सीरीज आर प्लेज इन ए बार इन शेप ऑफ बार दिस इज यूर रोड चार्ट Means horizontal bars are there. In the case of column, there are vertical bars are there. Pie chart in your data will be in the shape of a, in a circular form. Then area chart. Uh, then in area chart, the area below the line will be filled. Line chart. There is only lines will be draw there. No any type uh, filling will be there. X Y scattered chart. Then bubble chart is there, net chart is there, stock chart is there, column and line charts are there. So remember the name of these chart type. Okay. Next question is: There are two types of types of charts. When we insert the chart in the same worksheet, it is called embedded chart. And the When the chart is inserted in any another worksheet, it is called chart sheet. But in the case of your Kelsey, only embedded charts are possible. So embedded chart is a chart object placed inside a worksheet along with the other data. So it is a, a chart object inserted in the same worksheet along with other data. But what is a chart sheet? It is a sheet having only the chart, and there is no any other data. Clear? This is not available in the case of Calci. This is available in Excel. Now, next is if you want to resize your chart, so select the chart. So there are handles. 
of the ticket drag it and uh, release in order to resize and you can also move when your pointer will be of four side four sided arrow okay you can move it so this is moving and resizing then is printing your worksheet so if i click on file click on print a dialog box will appear so in this dialog box first you will select the different uh, uh, printers are there select your printer then range means all sheet means all the worksheets three worksheets are there by default print only selected sheets means current sheet then selected cells if we want to print uh, in that case only the selected uh, cells will be get printed ticket next is uh, print content means all sheet uh, all sheet or p number 1 or p number 2 like this and uh, then print any reverse page it means uh, in a uh, two sided of page if you want to get the print out so the command is control plus vp and the menu is click on file click on print but before printing we must preview the page with the help of page preview option okay so this is your starts now in this chapter there are some more things are there some more uh, features of calci are given here in this uh, if we want to format any cell to select your cell and then click on format and then click on cells the shortcut key for format a cell is control plus i okay if i press control plus one minute beta one minute otherwise uh, there is a shortcut key for uh, uh, formatting a cell is control plus 1 okay so here is control plus 1 if i press control plus 1 so control plus 1 okay the shortcut key for formatting a cell next is If on, uh, अगर आपके फॉर्मेट सेल करना है देन क्लिक ऑन दि सेल देन क्लिक ऑन फॉर्मेट क्लिक ऑन सेल्स क्लियर देन देर इज एनदर वे यू कैन डू दि यू कैन राइट क्लिक इन एन सेल देन सेलेक्ट फॉर्मेट सेल एंड दीज फीचर्स आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन फॉर्मेटिंग टूल बार ओके दिस इज योर फॉर्मेटिंग टूल बार नेक्स्ट इज in format cell dialog box there is a different uh, tabs are numbers font font effects alignment border background cell protection theek hai to ye sare ke sare features available hain uh and uh, in case you want to change the orientation in the alignment tab there is a text orientation there is a degree you can change any degree there are two type of alignment text alignment at the vertical alignment in case your text is not uh, uh, fit in your cell there is a wrap text automatically and shrink to fit cell size okay these options are available in alignment tab in case number you can select the category different category of your data and then its format and also decimal point and leading zero you can if you want to type uh, display comma as a separator in any number then you will press click on thousand separator and in case negative value 
it will be displayed in a red color which is negative number red okay so these are the options available in numbers tab in font tab there are different fonts and then there is a font face the italic bold bold italic and regular and then there is a size and you can also select the language in font effects there is a overline strike through underline outline and the shadow in alignment tab text alignment horizontal and vertical text orientation wrap text automatic uh, automatically and the shrink to fit then in border you can select the set the border of your cells four sides or two sides then uh, your line style line color clear then in the background background color of your text uh, of your cell cell protection if you want to set any password clear next is uh, now the menus we will discuss there are some questions like uh, what will be the menu menu for cell it is format cell clear again cells option is also available in insert menu in shortcut key to insert a cell control then press plus symbol okay shortcut key for inserting a cell is control then plus symbol okay control then plus so you can insert a new cell then short uh, the menu for delete content so it is in edit menu delete content shortcut key is delete key aur agar aapne kisi bhi cell ko delete karna hai then shortcut key is control minus so cell will be deleted okay option will be shift cell up shift cell left delete entire row delete entire column same option is available in edit menu delete cell okay and when we insert cell control plus so of the pass you options aayenge here is shift cell down shift cell right entire row entire column then uh, print option print is available in file menu save option is also available in the file menu save as shortcut is control plus shift plus s for saving it is control plus s chart is available in insert menu okay rows is, rows are also available in the insert menu columns sheets sheet okay in edit menu these are delete content delete cell in delete contents there are different options delete all text number date and time formula comment format objects so these are available in these uh, uh, menus then shortcut key so if we want to delete any content the shortcut key is delete key okay then cell will be deleted clear otherwise shortcut key, uh, for deleting uh, the shortcut key is delete key okay so if i press here delete key the contents will be delete uh, all text number date and time like this and the uh, shortcut key for formatting a cell i have already discussed control plus 1 so you will format a cell next is for a uh, shortcut key for deleting a cell control plus minus theek hai control ke sath aapne minus press karna hai agar control ke sath aap plus press karte ho so you are going to insert a cell next is uh, for example if you want to close the file, file click on file click on exit to terminate or close your software the shortcut is control plus q and menu uh, the option is exit and if we want to close the file not software then click on file then click on close 
next is dot cut key for copy paste and copy cut copy paste control x for cut copy key control plus c and for pasting control plus v so any doubt from your side beta quickly response give the response beta if i am uh, uh, inserting any cell insert dialog insert cells dialog box will appear it has option like shift cell down shift cell right entire row entire column okay but if i click on edit and click on delete cells the dialog delete cell dialog box will appear it has options like shift cell up shift cell left delete entire row delete entire column okay and uh, you must uh, know the difference between count a and count count function will consider only numeric and boolean value but count a also consider text value and in the same way there is a max and max a min and min a difference are there and uh, in uh, Tell see if you want to find out exponent. So here is I am going to show you the exp exponent here. So if if I am typing here ten, and there is one symbol above the uh, numeric key six exponent three. So Ten power three, ten into ten into ten. This one thousand. So this is uh, uh, in a formatting toolbar. There are different tools like there is font name, font size, bold, italic, underline. Then alignment. Le align left shortcut key is control plus l align center horizontally it is control plus e align right shortcut key is control plus r justified control plus j the shortcut key for justify is control plus j shortcut key for center alignment is control plus e not control plus c Control plus C is the shortcut key for copy the data. Then there is a number format, percentage. Then number format standard, number format add decimal points. Then delete decimal places, decrease indentation, increase indentation, background color, font color. these are the different options or different tools available in formatting toolbar in case of your standard toolbar new here is shortcut is control plus n open control plus o save control plus s then export directly as pdf print file directly there is page preview spelling check shortcut key is f7 then there is spelling auto spell check cut copy paste shortcut keys are control plus c for copy control plus plus x for cut no control plus b for paste there is a format paint paint brush that copy the formatting there is undo and these two buttons then there is sort ascending sort descending chart so these are the some buttons available here gallery is there navigation is here so these are different uh, tools you can different uh, toolbar here is 
standard toolbar is there formatting toolbar is there you can also display drawing toolbar clear so these are the different uh, the buttons are select button line button rectangle ellipse pre form line text there is font work from file symbol shapes basic shapes Cars, callouts. So these are the different options. Okay, students. Any doubt from your side? Okay. Okay. Good. Good. So uh, for revision test one. Two chapter of a KLC will be in this paper, and revision test two, the impress and the networking chapters are there, and in third revision test, first three chapters, chapter number one, chapter number two, and chapter number three are in slippers. Okay, students. Now I am going to close the meeting. Take care. Bye.